I became really fascinated with the ocean when I was, when I was a little kid, maybe eight or nine. And um, I started drawing one particular character, a shark character. Every now and then the, the drawings got a little gruesome, so mom had to take the red crayon away. It's something that eventually grew into a, my living. So that was the beginning of Sherman. Meet Jim Toomey, artist, conservationist, and creator of the comic strip Sherman's Lagoon, circulated in more than 250 newspapers and in six languages around the world. Sherman's Lagoon combines two of Jim's lifelong passions, art and the ocean. With their wry, mischievous humor, Sherman and his friends keep us smiling, while also conveying Jim's dedication to understanding and conserving our planet. As NOAA celebrates 50 years of science, service, and stewardship, we're proud to count Jim as a kindred spirit. I had been drawing Sherman's Lagoon for two or three years, and I was growing tired with the formula of just drawing a fish gag a day. And I wanted to put more purpose into the comic strip. And it was about then that I got a phone call from NOAA. And they were interested in using some of the strips for public outreach purposes. That was the beginning of a long and lasting partnership. Jim has supported NOAA's mission in a way that only he can, tapping Sherman and his friends to get the word out on the ocean and other environmental issues. I love working with NOAA projects. And some of my favorites have been working with the National Marine Sanctuaries. Uh, working with underwater discoveries like shipwrecks, um, new animals, new, new habitats, and working with marine debris as well, educating the public about the issues of marine debris, um, and general ocean education. Jim's work has even inspired a special award within NOAA, the Silver Sherman. Since 2016, senior leaders at NOAA have awarded Silver Shermans to individuals who distinguish themselves in leadership, service, and process improvement, and who make extraordinary efforts to keep the mission moving forward. Recipients become members of the elite Order of Sherman's Lagoon. As a cartoonist, I work in a vacuum, so I don't get a lot of public feedback. Believe it or not, I, I get a few emails, but it's not something that I'm, I'm, I'm assured that the public necessarily gets my comic strip or gets uh, the message in my comic strip. So I work, like a lot of people, I work a little bit in the dark. Um, so to have that, have that reassurance that somebody out there uh, appreciates your work is, is, I think, the heart and soul of the Silver Sherman Award. It's such a compliment to me as an artist uh, to, to have my character be, represent that work ethic and that, that out-of-the-box thinking at NOAA. It's something I try to do every day as well, so for me it was incredible. One of the highlights of, of drawing my comic strip. As NOAA celebrates its first 50 years and looks ahead to its future, we look forward to keeping Sherman and his friends busy with new places and topics to explore for years to come. Happy 50th anniversary, NOAA. Keep up the great work. <laughs>